Hi bosses, welcome back to my channel, the number one place for you to learn how to grow your marketing organically and attract more clients online without adding more to your schedule. In today's video, I want to share some tips with you on how you can improve your willpower and your self-discipline when you work from home. Because I know it's really easy to stay motivated when things are going well in your business, but what about when you just don't feel motivated? What do you do? You've got goals, you've got dreams, and you deserve to achieve them, but we can't expect to be 100% on it every single day. And sometimes that means our motivation just disappears. So how do you stay disciplined when you have zero motivation? I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do in this video. Our motivation disappears sometimes, it happens. And definitely give this video a like if you know what I mean, or comment below actually if you've been in this situation, or maybe you're there right now where you have so many things that you need to do but you just feel stuck or you just have no motivation to do them. And if you want to work on your productivity, efficiency and time management, while increasing your visibility and building your organic marketing strategy, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Tuesday. Okay, so the first thing that I do is a brain dump. I know that when I lose motivation, it's usually because I feel so overwhelmed by everything that I have to do, whether that's in my personal life or my professional life, and I just don't know where to start, and that means I end up doing nothing. We all have a lot to do, and you definitely do if you're working towards those big goals of yours, but it just feels really, really good to get everything out of your head and onto paper. So the first thing I do is just sit down and write out everything that I want to do and that I need to do. And the point of this brain dump is to allow you to see what do you actually need to be doing right now? What is the biggest priority for you right now? The second thing I like to do, and I'm much better at this now, but we all forget to do it, is to celebrate the small wins. Now, I'm not gonna get too factual here, but several studies have shown that the more of your wins that you celebrate in life, whether they are big or small, the more wins that you celebrate, the more that builds momentum, and momentum leads to motivation. So I see all the time in comments on my blog or in my Instagram DMs, people just saying, And the thing that you need to realize is that the people who have the most success, they don't complain. They celebrate every single win like it is the biggest win in the world. Oh my God, I just got my first client. Oh my God, I just got my first subscriber. They focus on the things that they want and what you focus on, you create more of. So if you focus on the things that you are lacking or the things that you feel frustrated by, then you're gonna get more of that. If you focus on the things that are good and you focus on the wins that are happening, you're gonna get more of that. So focus on the things that are good and the things that are worth celebrating rather than all the negative. The third thing that for me is one of the biggest drivers of willpower is gratitude. Because when things are going well, it's easy to feel motivated and stay motivated. But when things aren't going well or success is taking a little bit longer than you expected, it's completely natural to lose a bit of steam and lose motivation. So that's why it's so important to focus on gratitude. Every single morning and every single evening, I start my day and I end my day by writing down what I'm grateful for. And these could be anything. The other morning I wrote down that I was grateful for a really good sleep. I was grateful for seeing my mum and dad. And I was grateful for spending time with my husband and Lola, our puppy. Anything that comes to mind. Because the more I focus on the good, the more of that good is going to come my way. So be grateful for what you have right now and that will create more of it because what you focus on, you create more of. The fourth step is to start taking action and that starts by creating a little mini action plan. Now don't worry, this doesn't have to be some huge fancy, color coordinated thing, but you want to create a mini action plan for the things you need to do moving forward so that you actually get them done. Because the best way to continuously build your willpower and your self-discipline is to take 
action. So I really encourage you to set your weekly goals and then reverse engineer those and work backwards and see, okay, so what does that look like in terms of my daily tasks? And if you want a little bit more help on how to actually do that, then definitely check out this video about the three mindful productivity hacks I use to stay focused. Habit number one will really give you some great advice. The fifth thing that I do is rest and re-energize. And I know you might be thinking, Holly, I'm not getting anything done or why are you telling me to take a break? And that's because you need to pay attention to your body. Take it from me, I have dealt with burnout in the past and it is scary. So if you are unmotivated because you're exhausted, just know that that's completely normal. Give yourself some time to rest and I know it probably feels like the opposite of what you should be doing, but giving yourself a break is gonna work so much better for you in the long run rather than trying to push through your exhaustion. So a few things I like to do on days like this is tidy my home because I find that if my home is a mess, then my head is a mess and I'm just nowhere near as productive. And this is especially true for your workspace and you're just gonna be so much more likely to do the things that you have to do if your home is in a good place. You can also fill your body with food and fuel to motivate your body and your mind. So eating things that are healthy for you, that are good for you, rather than eating chips, burgers, all that really beige food that just makes you feel exhausted. Taking care of yourself, so having a long bath, taking a warm shower, just allowing yourself to feel good. I always find that when I've had a shower or even if I've just splashed my face with some water, I'm so much more ready to hit the ground running with my next task. And then taking care of your mind. So emptying out anything at all that is just not important. It's all about getting focused on the things you actually need to take action on. And like we mentioned before, step number one, doing the brain dump is really gonna help you do that. And the final tip I have for you to help you build up your willpower and self-discipline is to reward yourself. This is so important. And I know I get in this zone sometimes where I'm just constantly trying to work towards the next thing that we just forget everything that we just talked about. And that's when we start to lose our willpower because we just feel like we're constantly working, but nothing is happening. But if you actually look back, you'll see that you've done so much to get to where you are today you just haven't stopped to look back and celebrate your wins. So rewarding yourself is really important. Sometimes when we need to get motivated, we need a little external motivation and that's completely fine. A few months ago, I was working on a really, really big project and I was like, right, okay, when I finish this project, I'm gonna either treat myself to something really, really nice or treat myself to an extra few days off and that was my motivation. It's not great to be externally motivated all the time, but you can do other things as well. You could say, okay, when this project is finished, I'm gonna binge watch this Netflix TV show and just take the rest of the day to just chill or I'm gonna go out with my friends or my mom or my partner. Just having a little carrot dangle at the end to motivate you towards taking action so you can start working towards that reward at the end. Now, I want to know what you are going to do to help build up your willpower and self-discipline out of everything that we just mentioned. So let me know that in the comments below and let's all help each other out and motivate each other in the comments as well. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because in my next video, I'm gonna share one of the best productivity hacks ever with you. I'm gonna explain how it can help you prioritize, help you be more efficient and help you get more done. So definitely hit that notification bell if you wanna get the inside scoop on that. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for those boss vibes. Be grateful for what you have and show up for yourself every single day. You just bossed it.